My coverage of PAX Prime 2015 is proudly sponsored by Cooler Master and Gigabyte. What's up everyone and welcome to my PAX Prime 2015 coverage. Uh, this video is all about the hardware. I know PAX Prime is all about like gaming and gaming culture and all that kind of thing, but how can you play video games if you don't have hardware to play video games on? Of course, I'm talking about PC hardware. We're going to ignore all of the console stuff that's here for the time being. And uh, we're going to head inside and we're going to look at the PC hardware that's here. So uh, let's do that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at the Cooler Master booth, and besides being my sponsor for this event, because they're awesome, uh, they also have some fantastic things going on here. So I'm going to start off with the Master Case 5, which you guys probably have already seen in my excellent video that I did. I hope that video was excellent. I hope you guys liked it. Rajiv is going to be my lovely assistant today, although I'm not asking him to speak because his voice is already going. But um, basically with the Master Case, it's moddable, it's expandable, you can add things to it, and uh, Cooler Master, true to their word, is starting to add additional things, starting with a tempered glass side panel pretty awesome so uh, basically you got a lock on the top and uh, it actually fits in and goes on just in the same way that their uh, current existing panel does so it kind of slots into the side um, Rajiv could you could you maybe uh, open that up for us uh, you know what it might be locked, oh, locked. where'd the key go you ran off with the key <laughs> look how secure the master case 5 is all you got to do is lock this up and then you will have massive security. No one will be able to take your side panel or the stuff that's inside your case. That is the bonus of this system. It is a very nice piece of tempered glass though, gray glass, still gives a little bit of vis visibility inside the case. Very well made. You don't need to do anything to the case. All you need to do is get this piece of tempered glass, pop it in and it fits in with all the existing mounting points, which is pretty cool. So what Rajiv wants to know from you guys at home is how much this thing should cost. So post in the comments and let us know how much you would pay for it. I'm sure there's going to be a very wide variety of suggestions, uh, but they want to bring this out for people who are getting the Master Case 5, and uh, they want to know what you guys are considering might you might pay for an upgrade of this quality. Uh, all right, so uh, I'm at Lee Harrington Station uh, because he left, but Lee Harrington is over here doing like PETG tube bending, as he is very good at. Oh, here it is. Look, he made this one. It's like a swirly straw. You could like drink your drink out of it, or that kind of thing. I'm pretty excited. Lee's right here. Lee, say hi to the people. Hi, people. Lee's, uh, I'm going to go up and visit Lee soon. I keep telling him that. He keeps but saying that, but he doesn't show eventually, up. Eventually, maybe I will. But um, go, go to PC Junkie Mods, PCJunkieMod.com, PC Junkie Mods, and you can check out Lee's stuff. He makes absolutely fantastic uh, custom builds and all that kind of stuff. All right, over here we have Jerry. Jerry is actually also uh, being, he's, he's part of the Cooler Master experience right here. Look at that. That's Jerry. Uh, and uh, Travis is interviewing Jerry right now for Travis's YouTube channel. And uh, Travis is actually doing some LN2 cooling over there. Yes, it, yeah, as Jerry is saying right now, but he's yelling really loud, so I'm gonna tell you in a much much more calm tone of voice. Six or seven gigahertz on a 6700K is what Travis is going for here with the liquid nitrogen LN2 cooling. He's got his uh, LN2 pot all connected up to the processor, and um, he's gonna start pouring this stuff really soon. Uh, we're probably not going to be around to see it, but I promise it's very exciting. Look at all, look at all those pots. I wasn't expecting to see that much pot here in Seattle, but let's move over here to uh, this custom painting case over here, which uh, has Seattle Seahawks logo on it. So I just wanted to show, you can't see it though, because he's actually doing more painting. Here's the really cool thing I want to show you. Now I'm over here uh, with Richard, aka Darth Beavis. Richard does uh, custom PC builds and everything as well. He's very good friends with Lee. They have kind of a rivalry actually, if you ask them directly. They'll each say that the other person is better, but secretly they believe... No, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to get into that. Rich, what the heck are you doing here, and why is that 3D printer so big? Yeah, so we want to do DIY and kind of focus. So if you're doing DIY, you have to have a 3D printer. I you mean, it's just, it goes unspoken. I need a 3D so, printer. Yeah, but we want to do everything large and in charge, right? So we brought our 3D printer from the Vanilla Ice Project. And, and so uh, we can do a 36 inches tall by 15 inch diameter. So I'm going to be doing some crazy things. I probably can't say I'm going to be doing Daft Punk helmets and Surf Trimmer helmets because I don't want to get sued. Okay. But I'm going to be doing some cool stuff like that. I like that. And uh, wait, what are those dimensions again? Okay, 36 inches tall by 15 inch diameter. Remind you guys of anything? Uh, Alright guys, I'm stopping by Gigabyte and since this is the hardware video, I'm going to start with some hardware. Now, I'm going to be I'm gonna be direct and I'm going to let you know that um, Gigabyte doesn't really have anything that's like new, new here on display at PAX Prime uh, because they've launched a lot of really cool new stuff recently. Of course, all the Z170 boards and that sort of thing. So, I'm not going to show you guys many details of what they have on display in their hardware wall. I'm just going to show you real quick. But I'm going to ask you a very important and pertinent question and that is, which of these pieces of hardware might you want to see us unbox on our live show on awesome hardware because that's what we've been doing for our sponsor spots on awesome hardware and uh, 
we need something else. We've already done a couple of the G1 gaming boards. Uh, there's the SOC boards. This is the X99, but we hear there's maybe a Z170 version of the SOC boards coming out soon. That might be kind of cool. Do you want to see more X99 on there? Or do you want to see more of the Z170? Would you be interested in the Ultra Durable series, the mainstream? Maybe even something like a Bricks? We, we could do something like that. Or, of course, video cards. Um, there are so many of those available. And uh, we, we haven't done any video cards. Actually, uh, here's the, here's the, the uh, GTX 950 that just launched. And uh, we haven't really touched that. There's these uh, GTX 970, the Gigabyte designed specifically for use in SLI systems. And of course, all their Wind Force cards and that kind of thing. So leave me, leave me some comments in the uh, comment section in this video. And let us know, guys, what products from Gigabyte you might want to see, uh, you might want to see us do a little bit more coverage on, on awesome hardware. Right over here at the area in front of the Gigabyte booth, uh, this is where they have their main tournament going on. Uh, they, they have a professional game caster for Joker over there. He's uh, doing some shout outs for the uh, Heroes of the Storm tournament. They have some beautiful little systems set up here, all uh, using, of course, Gigabyte hardware. Uh, they're actually running the uh, Heroes of the Storm off of a GTX 950 in there, although they've paired it with just a super OP Intel uh, 750 series uh, SSD, which is pretty crazy. Very nice system they have there. Also, this is not necessarily like a professional tournament. These are all just uh, people who are participants or people who have come to hang out at PAX who happen to play Heroes of the Storm. So they're all jumping in. Uh, some of the teams are preform, some of them are uh, people who are grouped together. And uh, this is going on all weekend here. There's some fantastic prizes, including, of course, those Intel 750 Series SSDs. And uh, there, people seem to be having a lot of fun. And there's a long line over there. People waiting to buy stuff. No, not buy stuff. They're entering to win stuff. And lastly, guys, I wanted to show you some of the uh, excellent systems that they have on display here. Uh, including this one here. This is an NTXT Source 3 4 case. Of course, uh, you can buy hardware in there as well. Pretty nice. But now, I think we can do better. Let's go over here. Here's one from Exotic PC. This one's a bit more custom out. We got a custom paint job on there. So those are 98G1 gaming graphics cards. Uh, that is a customized Corsair AX multi power supply. Uh, the case is also a Corsair Graphite 760T, which looks just gorgeous. This one is actually available if you want it. That is correct. You want to buy this system right here? This guy will build it for you. That's Ivan, aka Crazy Russian. Look, he's, he's pimping this uh, build he did. It's on the cover of CPU Magazine. They actually have a couple versions there. And this is from NCAX. So NCAX US, if you're in the US, you can get that. And uh, they have a, a simpler version of this build, which is less money. But if you want this one, like as is, with all this customized stuff in there, you can order it from NCAX. And they'll build it for you. They'll even ship it to you. They'll even ship it to you all filled. But Ivan would not tell me how they do that. Ivan, how, tell us tell us how you ship things. No, he won't tell us. He's, he remains he's a silent partner. But anyway, guys, uh, those are the systems and builds and all the cool stuff they have going on here at the Gigabyte booth. I'm pretty happy. I'm going to move on. Uh, so guys, we made our way over here to the NVIDIA booth, and uh, as they have been doing at several conventions that we've gone to recently, they are demonstrating VR capabilities, all powered, of course, by NVIDIA hardware, primarily the GTX 980 Ti's. Steve is using the Crescent Bay prototype Oculus right now, and he's using it to play Eve Valkyrie, uh, which is basically an in-space dogfighting game, and uh, it's a lot of fun. You can actually look around the cockpit while you're sitting and playing. Uh, we're using it with the Xbox controller. I was really missing my mouse and keyboard, to be honest. But over in the other room, though, we just finished a demo, which is using the HTC Vive, and they were using that in combination with a demo that was set up uh, through Valve. So it had GLaDOS in there, it had a lot of the... Uh, uh, the portal characters. It was both funny, entertaining, as well as an excellent demonstration of how the technology works. They put you in a room and you're looking all around and you have to do some different things and you have these little hand controllers that you're doing to manipulate the stuff on the screen. It was a lot of fun. And I think the conclusion that we've all come to is that first off, we need this technology to get into the hands of consumers, which it should be available very soon. And second off is that I think all of us need to start working on plans for like a VR room in the house so you can have an area set up where if you're not going to be sitting like this, you can actually stand up, walk around, move around, and get all that kind of stuff done. But um, that's it for here at the NVIDIA booth. Some fantastic demonstrations. And if you guys ever have the chance to try this out, you really should, uh, because it's one of those brand new computer gaming experiences that you can't really get anywhere else.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Corsair booth. Uh, now, Corsair, like many of the other hardware vendors here, didn't really have a whole lot in the way of brand new hardware to show. At least not if you're following the stuff that they launched at some of the other gaming events that have happened in the past month or two. Now, the cool thing, though, is that there's at least a couple things here that are new to me, and I'm going to show you those things very quickly. I'm going to start with this one right in here, and that is their new headset. Ooh, there it is. This is the Void headset. Uh, it features cool stuff like RGB lighting. Uh, that's also available in several different colors. You got yellow, you got white, you got black. And you can make uh, the stuff on the side light up and change colors, and, and that's all pretty fancy. 50 millimeter neodymium drivers, microfiber wrapped ear pads, noise canceling microphone, and universal compatibility with PC, Xbox One, PS4, and mobile, as well as an MSRP of just $79.99. So uh, check these headphones out. I haven't done an audio quality test or anything like that on them, but uh, I did want to show you guys that they exist and they're here. Let's, uh, let's go over this direction. This is the Scimitar. Uh, this is an RGB uh, mouse that's designed for MMOs and MOBAs. So you will notice on the side panel here, there's a big old array of buttons, actually 12 of them in total, and it's got a cool feature. They can actually slide that little array of them up or down. So depending on where your thumb is, uh, you can readjust them to match where your thumb is. That's pretty cool. Um, if you don't mind, just one sec, I'm going to take a look at the, the mouse proper, just to give you guys a full look at it. And uh, it's pretty cool. Got the RGB lighting system, of course. Uh, DPI switches there, and then just gotta push this little guy up and down, and it will slide. And if you want to lock it, there's a little Allen key on the bottom, and you can crank that down, that'll lock it in place. Nice little mouse. Uh, the Scimitar also features a 12,000 DPI optical sensor, and uh, MRC, MSRP is uh, 80 bucks. Pretty good mouse. I'm over at MSI right now. They have a Masters Gaming Arena going on up there. They're playing Heroes of the Storm. They also have another uh, tournament area over there where they're allowing anyone who just happens to be a PAX to jump in and play. But I'm going to talk about hardware in this video because this is a hardware video. And I'm going to talk about these new MSI laptops. New or new versions that are coming out soon. The first one here is the GS46 QE Phantom. Then there's this part. Then there's that part. So this is the dock, right? The dock is separate. So if you want uh, the portability of the laptop as well as the dock, this little panel here, you can actually like pop up and remove and install a graphics card. And you probably can't see the graphics card I.O. down there because it's really dark. But there it is. So discrete GPU right there. The stock also has like a, a hard drive dock uh, slot that you can drop in there too. Slipping around to the other side, you have a power button, of course, and you got some expanded I.O. So uh, a great way to take and go from a mobile laptop over to a more full-featured gaming system. Alright, here's the laptop itself. As you can see, it's a much smaller form factor. I believe this is a 14-inch, yes it is, 14-inch 1920 by 1080 screen. And uh, it's got a 970M in it already, so mobile gaming, you're pretty much going to be all set. Uh, this is a next-generation Intel processor. That means it's a Skylake, basically. Although we're not being told exactly which Skylake processor is in there, so we leave that up to your imagination. But a pretty nice full-featured laptop. Next up, right next to it, we have the GT 725. So let's take a look at that one. Here's the GT 72S 6QE Dominator Pro G. Uh, now this is one that I've actually seen before and shown you guys before. The body style is very similar, but they've actually enhanced the keyboard and the keyboard's like uh, effects that they're doing with the lighting here and everything to make it a bit more vibrant. But the main thing with this one is that this is going to be an unlocked Skylake processor in there. Uh, we don't know the specific details yet or the spec, but uh, I mentioned that means you're going to be able to overclock it, which I suppose is something you can do on a laptop. Also, you have Super RAID 4. You can actually fit up to four uh, M.2 SSDs in there. Use a PCI Express uh, interface. And I think you can rate them together and that kind of thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then as far as the size of the screen and resolution, this is a 17.3 inch screen and it's still running at 1920 by 1080. Uh, the GPU in this one is a NVIDIA GTX 980M. And then again, we're expecting to see that uh, Skylake unlocked mobile processor in here at some point too. So keep your eye out for the GT 72S 6Q Dominator Pro G. Now guys, I, I couldn't leave the MSI booth without showing you their brand new GTX 980 Ti. This is a Lightning Edition. This is the best graphics card in the 980 Ti series that MSI will produce, and I'm very excited about it. Maybe I'll even do a video on this. Maybe. Let me know in the comments if you think I should. All right, so we have OC, right, because it's overclocked. Yeah, uh, triple fans, so this is a tri cooler. Uh, we also have an excellent lighting system, right? 
lighting the lightning system. So you can see this logo here. This is not just an RGB LED, but it also ties in with the MSI uh, software, right? Mystic Light. The mist it's called Mystic Light. So you can see the demo they have going on here in the case, uh, where it's lighting up in different colors. But you can use this via an Android app to control the lighting, change it to cycle through or anything like that. If you saw my coverage of the uh, X99 Godlike motherboard from MSI, it's basically those same features that are available through that app. All right, other than that, we have a uh, massively massive cooler. Uh, they've added this extra plate under here because the cooler is very heavy to support. I mean, that's a, that's a thick piece of metal that's going on right there. So that's to give some more rigidity. You might notice the uh, power delivery up here. Uh, eight plus eight plus six. Eight plus eight plus six. That's about 450 watts of available power. Should be enough for a GTX 980. Also, the back plate looks beautiful. Um, it actually has the lightning logo facing the correct way, so it'll be oriented towards the case window when it's installed in the case. Excellent and beautiful. Um, and yeah, just an overall crazy overbuilt car. 12-phase power delivery on there. Um, the video outs are pretty much the same as you might expect from a 980 Ti. Oh, uh, four, four 8 millimeter copper heat pipes in there. Massive super copper heat pipe array. And um, they're also talking about doing another version of this card. I know they told you this was the, the highest end, but they might do another one with integrated liquid cooling that you can buy that's liquid cooled out of the box. So that's still a maybe though. So guys, if you want, uh, let MSI know if you want to see a lightning version of the 980Ti that comes with a liquid cooler pre-attached to it, because that'd be pretty sweet. Hey guys, I'm here at EVGA now. Uh, I have come to look at their actual PC hardware that they have out on the table, right here, where people can come and touch it and pick it up and feel it and be one with the hardware. All right, so uh, EVGA launched a series of 170 boards along with the Intel 6th uh, generation core has Skylake, along with Skylake launch, and uh, I have not seen any of them, so I'm gonna run down them really quick. Uh, let's start, where should we start? Lower high end. Let's start in the middle. <laughs> and this is the most confusing Video coverage I've ever done. All right, so here's the For the Win. What's the MSRP on this one, Jacob? Uh, it's about 200, 219. 219 for this one. So this uh, this one is going to be made for your two-way and maybe three two-way SLI, maybe two three-way way Crossfire. Another card for PhysX or like a PCIe Express based okay. storage device. And you got uh, your four DIMM slots. You got a very nice all-black PCB, front and back, just like that. And uh, this is pretty. This is gonna get all the things done that you need if you want. If you want Z170 and Skylake, right? Yep. Okay. Um, now, if you want to step it up a little bit, you can go for this guy right here. This is the for the win. No, not the for the win. This is, this is the classified edition. Uh, you guys have taken all the red out of the classified, except for that button right there. Yeah, right. That, well, some of the lights are red. Some of the lights. Turn those off from BIOS if you're. Because you got the dark mode, right? Yeah. So with the EVJ boards, you can turn on dark mode, and that will turn all of your lighting off so that you can use your own lights if the lights don't happen to match or if you're just going for like a dark and brooding build, that's an option yep. too. Um, but this one, uh, apart, there, there's other features like overclocking stuff on here, surface mounted switches. You got some of that down there, but you got more of it here. Yeah. More and better. More phases for the power delivery. Uh, more power phases. We have creative 430 audio okay. there. Uh, and then the biggest thing is the, the bridge tip, the PLX bridge tip, which gives it okay. more PCI Express lanes. That's, that's probably right under there. It's right. No, it's down here. Yeah. Oh, they moved it down here. All right, so PLX bridge there, and that's why you can do up to four-way uh, SLI configurations because it, uh, it's, it's a multiplexer and it basically gives you more lanes via switching. All right, uh, this one over here, what is, wait, what is this? That's, That's X99. an X99, I, yep. I have this board. <laughs> I have that board at home. This is my main test bed board. Yeah, it's let's, a good one. Let's, it is a good board. It's been so incredibly solid for me. That, all right, let's show you guys this one. Actually, Jacob, can you hand model for me? And mind holding it up? Yes. Hold it up and give you guys a good... All right, so Jacob was just telling me this is the best-selling EVGA Z170 motherboard. Uh, it's mini ITX for one thing, so if you're building a small, powerful system, or if you want to do something for like a steam box type thing, or you just want a small footprint, there's your option. You got two DIMM slots, so you can uh, still get yourself some pretty good memory configurations. You got 16 gig DIMMs now coming out, so you can still drop 32 yeah. gigs onto this board if you wanted to. Z170 chipset, of course. Um, you got a single PCI Express Gen 3 slot for your card, and and uh, this is, I bet it's also popular to use riser cards with this board for some reason. I don't know why. Depending on your chassis, if you didn't have space. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, though, we got some USB 3. We got USB 3. Uh, USB 3, uh, of course, uh, SATA 6G. SATA 6G. Uh, USB 3.0, of course, as well. Nice arrangement of I.O. Uh, around $199. 
199. All right, guys. So if you're building a small, powerful Z170 uh, system, uh, the uh, Z170 Stinger from EVGA is a great option. All right, guys. Uh, ASUS has uh, some demonstrations going on with some of their new motherboards. They put them all in these systems, and all the systems are designed by uh, system integrators. So this one is from NCXPC. So if you saw the build that I showed you that uh, Ivan was pimping over there at the Gigabyte area, this one was also built by that same team. So you could actually buy this whole system if you really wanted to. I mean, if you want it just as is. Let me open up the side panel real quick and show you the inside. Ooh, look at that. It's beautiful. It's water-cooled. It's fantastic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out of here so these guys can actually use this system in the game, though. Next up is this system from Digital Storm, uh, and, and I'm probably not going to get a very close look at this because, again, it is in use right now, but uh, again, very nice system all put together. And these are all featuring the brand new Asus Z170 motherboards. Unfortunately, they don't have the, any of them that are like out on display that I can just like show you close-ups of, so you know what I'm going to have to do is get one and like get one back at the studio and maybe do an overview of it. That would be a great idea. I'm going to try to do that. Here's one from Juju Systems. I like this because it's tiny and you got lots of storage in there. Look at them SSDs and those hard drives. That's pretty sweet. What do you think? Nice yeah, build, right? Yeah, I like this. It's beautiful. It's supposed to be quiet, right? It's very quiet. Oh, I think we have a system hard lock. That's probably what that is. Yep, system's locked up. Okay. Huge systems, uh, it's probably not your fault. It's, uh, it's all of the wear and tear that these devices get on the show floor. Here's a build from Cybertron PC. This is using the Asus Strix GTX 980 Ti in there. You can see it in there glowing on ominously. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I can't see through here, but this is, uh, this is an, again, that Inwin 904 chassis, and uh, it, it looks pretty. I, I apologize, I can't, I can't really go into any further details than that, but uh, this is a popular area, and I'm trying not to take up too much of anyone's time. All right, let's go this way. Falcon Northwest, always quality, always uh, always classy. Uh, Falcon Northwest, they do a lot of like little mini, mini tiny systems. So here's another mini ITX build. I have no idea what chassis this is or if it's a custom job or something like that. Uh, no side panel window or anything, but um, I'm sure that the hardware inside is beastly. I, I don't know what's inside this system though. They don't have a, they don't have a little checklist out here that's saying what's going on in there. Let's finish over here with the Origin, Origin PC. There it is. Uh, Origin has this chassis that they've been working with for quite some time. And uh, again, the building there is looking pretty. Yeah, yeah. I really want, that's a Maximus 8 Ranger in there, which is uh, one of the more affordable ACS ROG motherboards. Um, it's, a, it's a very nice board, or so I've been told. I'm gonna try to get my hands on one and do some more, foot, do some more uh, coverage of that. And here's the system I really wanted to show you. I don't know if you guys could get this at home though, because this system is actually built into the bottom of a, 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 a racing simulator. Let me, get, let me get this out of the way. What's that doing there? That shouldn't be there. Okay. Uh, nice build in there. We got a bunch of Corsair parts, AX1200i, Corsair water cooler, dual Asus 980 Ti Strix graphics cards, uh, some pretty nicely sleeved white cabling going on, uh, and I believe that's Corsair Dominator memory as well, Corsair Neutron XT series uh, SSD. And all of this is powering this rig right there. So uh, if you're at PAX Prime and some of the later days of PAX Prime and you want to do some 3D simulation racing, you can jump into the seat right here and play some games. Okay guys, uh, I'm at the HyperX booth and uh, they got a lot of stuff going on, but I want to talk about their new product, which is the Cloud Core right here. Now you guys probably are familiar with the Cloud and maybe the Cloud 2 uh, because we've talked about those before and those being actually good gaming headsets, which aren't usually words that go together. Um, but the Cloud Core is uh, HyperX's, uh, the, the intent here is to basically bring the Cloud-like audio quality to the market at a much lower price point. So you still get all the same, uh, good quality audio hardware in there, 53 millimeter drivers and everything. You just don't get quite as many of the accessories and the pouch and all that stuff. So like this little guy over there, which is the uh, USB external uh, that comes along with the Cloud 2, for example, does not come with this. You also don't get the pouch and the other accessories. You do get, of course, the headset itself, which is important. And you do get the microphone, right? The microphone comes along with it, if I'm not mistaken. But you're still going to get uh, the legendary uh, cloud comfortability and audio quality. And uh, I'm excited that people are going to be able to access this now at a lower price point. Uh, is, is this available in different colors? The cloud core is just in the black. Okay, cloud core is just in the black. And if you want the blingy colors like the uh, pink over here, 
That's uh, that you gotta go for the cloud. The cloud the too. Cloud, the, the cloud yeah. too, pretty much. And I'll get the, I'll get the here's a pink one. This is this is a cloud too that they just came out with. New color. I think Linus might like this one. We should have HyperX send one of these up to Linus. That'd be a good idea. Okay. And that is all for PAX Prime 2015 coverage here from Seattle, Washington. Uh, I'm going to be back with one more video where I'm going to actually take a look at some of the games that they have here. And maybe just some silliness because lots of silliness tends to happen. And maybe even some cosplay and stuff like that. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you enjoyed this content that I am bringing to you today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah.